Hello, troublemakers, and welcome to another Movie Commentary Monday. Are you subscribed? Because if you're not, you're missing out on the fact that I upload movie commentaries every single Monday. Every single Monday, 52 weeks out of the year. Happens every week. Subscribe to find out if that's true. <laughs> the Adam Project, I'm assuming... Uh, wait, what the f Why are you not blasting this in my face? That's, that's what she's... Oh, that's what she said. No, it's not here. The Adam Pro- I was expecting it to be here. Adam. The Adam Pro- Yeah. Ryan Reynolds? The reason I know about this movie is because they had a Super Bowl commercial. So that means they spent five plus million dollars promoting this movie just one time. All just so that I would come here to watch it. And I don't mean I as in like the average consumer. I mean Netflix specifically advertised during the Super Bowl to get to me. That is my theory. They wanted me to make a movie commentary on this so bad, they advertised during the one time I ever watched television, which is during football. I'm here to tell you, Netflix, too. You could have just paid me directly. I just, it looked good. During the commercial, pretty sure a guy travels back, meets his past self. It's a Skydance film. It's not a, a Wattpad film, so the quality's probably not gonna be as great. You know, Wattpad, it's like up here. Skydance, I imagine, is like kind of down here. Last week, we watched 17 again, and there was a lot of, um... There's no other way to say it. There's a lot of incestual overtones. And this, oh, you know what? He travels back in time. His adult form is probably gonna meet his mom in the past. Oh no. Oh, we're not going that route again, are we? Time travel exists. You just don't know it yet. Okay. Oh, so we're in the future right now, I imagine. Your tracking system is about to crash. Oh, okay, so no one got through to chase him. Interesting idea though, to start with a scene from the future. Actually, I'm- oh. Huh? Why? Oh, the, what a badass kid. He just ate that punch. He didn't buckle at all. Watch him just absorb this punch. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever been more impressed with the kid right now. Actually, I'm- oh. Boom! Just eats it. Goes, oh! And that's it. As soon as a fist makes contact to my jaw, I just- Tears. Immediately a waterfall. Who talks like that? Did you order like a bully starter kit on Amazon or something? Do you even hear yourself, Chuck? Got asthma? What a loser. <laughs> well, you're gonna suspend Adam because what? It's barely been a year since we lost his father. Wait, they lost his father? And they can't find him? Everyone is twice my size. I've seen babies bigger than me. I don't understand you. Dad would. Well, he's lost, okay? I don't know if I'm gonna like the kid. He's a little too witty. They're like doing like very adult Ryan Reynolds wit. And this is like a child and I don't know if it just, it doesn't work as well. Like children aren't as self-aware. Because you don't have a dad. It's okay, I don't have a dad. At least I have a net. <laughs> His name's Derek. We work together. You're going on a date. Why am I going on a date? Can we please stop saying date now? Thanks. I, ah. Uh, and I don't want to pick on kids. I will. I have in the past. I don't have a qualm with it. I don't like to, but I will go there again. Sometimes children deserve it. Are we ready for that conversation? I need Ryan Reynolds to come set the tone. He's the guy with the wit. And then you can get like little glimpses of it with the kid. But the kid is going full Ryan Reynolds. It's a little too much. Got a nice house. I wonder what the dad did. Or what the mom does. Maybe she's in technologies. Because that's a really nice house. It's like in the woods. So it's private. It's a lot of glass. It's very impressive. Okay. So now we have the meeting of the two Reynolds. <laughs> what the f- that's, that's a demon dog. That made the weirdest wolf ever. <laughs> See, yeah, it's interesting that they don't start with this. They started with the scene in the future. So we saw the wormhole thing, right? So we, we understand and believe it fully. Take it easy. See, if you start the movie, I guess maybe if you're doing this big promo for it anyways, it doesn't matter because people know the plot going in. But if you didn't see him actually time traveling, then we're basically operating with the same information the kid has. It's like, oh, we just find a man randomly in our shed bleeding. And there's intrigue to that. But because you've let the audience know ahead of time, it just changes how the, the a viewer would interact with the story, right? Or the, how the viewer would interpret things. Bullet? You were shot? Yeah, no, actually, I was stabbed with a bullet. What do you think, you moron? <laughs> you can trust me. That's easy for you to say. I'm the one who ends up in that therapist's office telling them about where the bad man touched me. Yeah, see, what... <sighs> Maybe I'm underestimating 12-year-olds. <laughs> Maybe I think all 12-year-olds are idiots. <laughs> but at this point in my life, I don't think I've ever been impressed by a 12-year-old. So I don't... I think I'm estimating them properly. It just... It's overhanded. Let Ryan Reynolds, the adult form, do all the sarcasm and weediness. Let the child actor do the cute stuff that all the parents go, oh, it's so cute kid. I don't need the witty kid to be witty because it's beyond his mental capabilities. You knew how to get into my dad's garage. You 
knew how to close the fridge. You knew how to close the fridge? You know, most people struggle with fridges. I can't tell you how many spoiled groceries in a year there are in the United States just because of people who don't know how to operate fridges. They're pretty complex machines. I'm supposed to land here. I'm aiming for 2018. Who were you trying to save in 2018? Really? Your dad, dummy. All right, here we go. We still don't know the mission. He's trapped here. He needs to get back to 2018. Okay, I've isolated the damaged relays. The ship should be able to start repairing itself. How long will that take? <laughs> That's convenient. I was just thinking in my head like, hmm, I wonder how long repairs are gonna take. But it's not gonna take any time at all. Or at least it won't take any screen time because it just does it itself. That's super convenient. This is happening to me. You're wasting your that time. That means it already happened to you, right? It works more like a multiverse. It's a multiverse. They're about to explain now the time paradox. If there is one, they're gonna try to explain their way out of it. Let's, let's listen. The prevailing wisdom, my memory, our memories, they reform, they reconcile. There's only one place in time where you belong. Okay. That is your fixed time. Okay, I guess. I don't care. I'm too stupid to understand half the stuff anyways. I was like, I was keep it up for about 50% of it. And then my brain just went, uh, movie watching. Oh, Zoe Saldana, Zoe Saldana. I'm surprised you're still up. That's what she said. Will you be seeing him again? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, you work with him, so I imagine you will be. Hi. Oh, oh that man's in the gang. Ah, oh, nope, nope, nope. That is a goatee. This man has some Italian lineage. I can see it somewhere. Actually, I don't know the markers of Italian people. But I know that this man may be in a gang. And he may be near the top. But not at the top. He's not the top. He doesn't have a face for a top. That sounded not... He's in a gang. Okay, that's what I want to say. You have a wonderful mouth, Mullen. You must be very proud. Oh my gosh, Adam. <laughs> See you soon. Unlikely, but I'll be sure to put in a good word for you, Derek. Okay. What? You can be a real jerk sometimes. You know that? <laughs> that's your 12-year-old son! You didn't even like him anyways! He's in a gang. You don't want to get caught up in that life. You had a bad date with him. Your son was maybe a little bit sarcastic to him. Who cares? You're gonna, like, admonish your son? Oh. Gardner. <laughs> Jennifer. Jennifer, you're really planting the seeds of my distaste for you. <laughs> Why are you so rich? Maybe she's involved with the gang. She has a lot of money. That's not real. They do the, uh, the old reflection. <laughs> it's too perfect. It's like this is the only part of the window that's reflective. Is that Ruffalo? Oh, I did see him in the... Yeah, oh, okay. Netflix keeps, like, pushing promotional material for this film. And I've seen him do interviews and stuff for this. She wakes up every morning with a broken heart and a, and, a, and a closet full of his clothes and gets nothing from you but a fistful of crap and not even like 10 seconds of genuine empathy. Yeah, you little jerk. <laughs> you can be a real jerk sometimes. Can we just take a break from the ass kicking? I have a lot going on. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna walk over there and you're gonna raise your hands and then you're gonna look Ray right in the eye. And step vulnerable. People are vulnerable in their eye holes. Poke at him. If he doesn't recommend eye stabs right now, I don't think he's a good fighter. Bah! To watch his soul exit his body. With a bah! Then you're gonna drop down to your knees and punch him as hard as you can in the private bathing suit bar. Okay, the dick shots are fine as well. I prefer the eye holes. It's a little bit more, I don't know, a little more honor in that in taking out their eyes rather than their groin, but um, either way gets the job done. <laughs> Christ, you're so sensitive. Hey, you had to lose that fight. You don't go from being you to being me without getting your ass kicked. A lot. All the time. That's true. I'm telling you, like anyone who's experienced trauma in their childhood, it can be a good thing. Listen, having childhood trauma usually leads to positive things. I shouldn't say usually. It goes one of two ways. Either you're scarred forever and nothing ever gets better or you end up being pretty funny or you start working out a lot and you become like big and strong or your personality gets so good everyone wants to be your friend. That comes from bad stuff happening to you as a kid. So if bad stuff happened to you, congratulations. Good things might be on the way, but it also might not be on the way. Cause uh, some people, they don't, they don't, you know, find the positives in life and they're just, you know, suffering from that trauma the whole time. Been a while. Uh, yeah. uh, How are you doing? Uh, that baby uh, sleep? Uh, I find that hard to believe. They grow into teenagers who grow into be assassins of happiness. Thank you. Assassins of happiness? Where have we seen this child act that poorly? Yeah, he gets into some fights. But he's getting his face beat in. So he's a little lippy. He's gonna grow up to be funny. It's your job to set him on that path. You don't call them jerks and talk about them unless maybe baby Ryan Reynolds killed the father. That's the only reason I can see the resentment towards the child. It's not his fault. He's, he's just dealing. 
It's fine. We'll be fine. Your, your son's a drug dealer? Oh, I knew it. The gang affiliations. It makes sense. She said he's dealing, right? I, I heard that correctly. The joke works. He's just dealing. He's just dealing. <laughs> Yay, my joke works. Wish I knew what I was doing wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. Oh, God. Oh, God. She's single. She's... Oh, she's single and looking actively. <gasps> and he's handsome. <laughs> I can't do this two weeks in a row, guys. I just can't. Boys always come back for their mamas. Oh. So you, that sounds fine. That intensity, you need to back off a little bit. Because she's not going to know how to take that. I'm afraid to get her reaction shot. Ah, ah, ah. No, she's moved. Don't win her over because she, she's looking for a partner. You have a good mom. I do. <sighs> I have the best mom. Uh, okay. okay. Aren't you grieving too? Oh, don't find common ground in your grief. That's the. Those are the most passionate romances. Yeah. I am. Uh, of course I am. Oh, yeah, okay. Good. Make her cry. Don't make her... I mean, there's... <laughs> it's better that she's wet up here than elsewhere. So, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? Nice chat with you. Yep. Yeah, okay, thank God. See you later. Leave. Man, I'm exhausted. My fear of incest cannot be overstated. So you came back for your wife, Laura? We're not good. This is such like a modern house. Modern houses in the woods cost so much money. This is a fascinating home. You told me her jet broke up on re-entry, but she was the best pilot in the program. And you were trying to get to 2018 because that's where she went before. Oh, They changed the jump logs. Somebody was hiding something. Okay, conspiracy. Nice. So his wife time jumped to 2018. That's why he was trying to get to 2018, but he's in 2022. So she could conceivably still exist in this timeline unless she jumped again. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Something. Maybe she saw something that Sorian didn't want her to Sorian. see. Wait, Sorian? After dad died, she got rich off of his tech. Tech? Tech? I knew it. Future tech? Yep. Hello, Dylan. Oh. Ah. Who are you? It's me. You. From the future. You're me from the future? Indeed. Why are you here? I've come to inform you of a grievous error you have made. What horrible thing could have possibly have happened? You have forgotten to tell people that this video is sponsored by Audible. <laughs> Do you know what Audible is? They are the world's leading provider of spoken word entertainment. They have tons and tons of audiobooks and podcasts, but that's not all they have. They also have my undying love and affection. I love Audible so much, just mwah. They have sponsored me so many times and they keep coming back to me. I actually think this is the longest relationship I've ever been in. And I don't think that's a joke. <laughs> so sign up at audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble and support my life partner. <laughs> you get a free 30 days, which of course gives you access to the Plus catalog, which are on-demand listens, but you'll also get a free credit to spend on any audiobook if you're choosing. We're watching a sci-fi movie today, so it just seems like the perfect opportunity to tell you about my favorite thing ever that exists. Well, that's me, but... My second favorite thing is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is the greatest story of all time. Imagine Hunger Games, but like 10 times more badass, and then all the characters are fleshed out super well, and there aren't any cardboard characters like Ale. And this way, if you ever see me in public one day, you're like, hey, there's Dylan. I don't know what to talk to him about. Talk to me about Red Rising. It will be the highlight of my day. Except if you, if you listen to Red Rising and you don't like it, then don't approach me ever. <laughs> I will get violent, and it will be your fault. Again, audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. Signing up is free. It helps support my channel because uh, then Audible wants to work with me again in the future. Because when the day comes that they no longer want to work with me, I will... I'll cry a lot. I'll probably dive deep into their self-help section because uh, I'll need it. <laughs> Anyways, big thank you to Audible. I really do appreciate them sponsoring me over and over again. And a lot of you guys have signed up, but if you have not to this point and you've heard me talk about Audible a number of times, it's the perfect day to jump into it. Again, it's free, 30 days. Try it out, see if you like it. If you don't like it, no problem. So sign up. All right, back to the Adam Project. You're changing the future. That's gotta be against the rules. They want you need her. <laughs> That's when you know some shit's about to go down. When you put the cup down, and the vibrations just set off everywhere. That's gotta be against the- If you're in a theater, you're fueling that all through your body, in your groin specifically. I don't know why. Like movie speakers, movie theater speakers, they just hit your groin really hard. I, am I alone in that? Maybe that's why people like going to the movies. They like getting hit in the groin with the vibrations. I might be onto something. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you haven't been to a movie theater with really good speakers. Ready? Ready? See? The future. That's kind of oh, it feels so good, doesn't it? Put some headphones on with good bass and you'll know what I'm talking about. Ooh. Hmm. I do find it strange that they have to, because they can be invisible. Why do they have to be visible to attack? Because they're all showing themselves right the moment as they're attacking. I wonder why that is. I don't think we'll get an answer to that though. Like it'd be so much more beneficial to remain invisible, but they're not. 
Oh, oh, oh. I don't let anyone into this time stream. We're in the academy together. He's a decent pilot, but a terrible person. Oh, yeah, see that. I guess maybe because it's a movie instead of a series. Like, this was like a six, eight, even ten episode series. I think this would be so much more fun. Because to see the relationship that he had and his, like, rivals trying to track him down, I think it makes for a much better limited series than it does a movie. Run security for Sorian. Oh gee, with the face, did I do that? Because yeah, you could explore all that. Like they hate each other. You could see the beginnings of the rivalry. What happened to his face? Please escort Adam back to 2050. Oh, he's got friends, allies. What's up? Oh, his fucking dad. His mother fucking father. Oh no, it's his wife. Badass. Oh, back, oh, back to those reflection shots. <laughs> oh, wow. There's, there's no way you drive into a forest with a lot of trees without crashing. No. Oh, sick. No, no, no. <laughs> mm -mm, I don't buy it. This is like the perfect path. Kids movie. You can't have blood, so they just like dissipate into nothing. Yep. <laughs> No. Bull. Shit. No! We have to get off this road fast. What road?! There is- this isn't even like a path! 2050, is it bad there? We've seen Terminator, right? That's 2050 on a good day. Hello. All this time. Four years. It's fine. I got used to being alone. They come from like a horrible future where there's like genocide, war, death constantly and living in peace even though you're alone for four years isn't that bad i don't know they're overblowing this you were alone for four years how you suffered uh dog there's like like a world scale war times a hundred in the future anything other than that even if you're by yourself is paradise stop time travel from ever being invented and save the future your jet is meshed for your dna it won't fly with anyone else if i go back and i stop time travel we never meet we never happen laura we will find each other i don't know how to feel about this like, I don't have that sympathy. Like, oh, we'll never meet, we'll never have our romance. But in return, the world will never fall into cataclysmic war, where, like, everything is destroyed and everyone suffers in, in, his, in pain and agony all the time. Like, I'm willing to trade one romance for the rest of the world's happiness. Maybe that's just me. I don't feel that compassion. But maybe I'm just, like, a little bit sociopathic? I, <laughs> like, no one's even gonna die. Plus, you'll still exist in both timelines. It's was that? The purge. He's like, Adam, stop it! I know you came for me. <laughs> now you have to leave for me, please. Ooh, Zoe! Thank you. Ah, added some real, some real heart to this movie. The cast. Love that. Love it. Love it. That was fantastic, right there. Best part of the movie so far. This shot, right fucking here. God damn it! Love that. So they're gonna show her actually defending. I wonder why. I figured this would just all be off screen. Boom. I would love if they had a running bit where that guy's face just kept getting burned in different areas. Yeah, you're not so mad at me for blowing up the jet, are you? Yeah, I'm still kind of pissed. <laughs> I wish Zoe was in this more. She's added a real breath of life into this. Dad's death screws you up more than you ever realize. You get depressed, you get angry. You don't have because I do not a have a plan that is exactly. correct. I know somebody who might. Your dad. Okay, so now, bring in the Ruffalo. Dad. Hulk. Yes. Dad. Hulk and Deadpool saving the universe. She's gonna die, yeah? But it's fine, they'll be in a different timeline. <laughs> Damn it. It's gonna be sad. Oh! <laughs> Damn, those are big guns, too. Like, that's not like a, just a bullet goes through you. Your whole body explodes. They just obliterated Zoe Saldana. <laughs> Alright, where's the rough? It's not meant to be easy. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. Hey, big rough. Give yourself permission to be inadequate. You don't need to give me permission to be inadequate. I've been it my whole life. Then we'll probably fail the class because... Dude, explicit guy. Papa? Oh yeah, because, uh... Oh, I'm excited for this. You better have some fun interactions. That my jacket looks a little tight on you, don't That's you think? That's what I said. Fine. <laughs> he shot him when he stole the jet. Please don't you tell him that. Stole Why would he need to know that? that? Both of you, stop talking <laughs> now. Yes, this is fun. I actually think that their interaction works best when there's like a third party to kind of mediate between the two and they're kind of like opposed and there's like a straight man in the middle and then they kind of have their wit back and forth i actually think that's when their interactions work best and i think this is a perfect setup same thing happened kind of with zoe saldana you can't be here you can't be anywhere but your own timeline hey, what, 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 what do you think we're doing here you think we're short of hugs in the future there's a <laughs>
<laughs> we're perverting fate and time. I told you Sorian already did that. Okay, so this is my understanding. A lot of information being thrown out, and I don't know how I'm going to cut it together to make sure you guys keep up. But I think me giving you the sum summary, summation? Summation is like a better word, but I don't know that... I know fully what the word means, summation. It sounds great though. Here's the summation. So a woman in the future goes back in time and she knows that he, Ryan Reynolds' father, is going to invent time travel. So she goes back in time, funds his time travel. So she's kind of like the executive. She gets access to all the information and knowledge because she's funding it because she knows eventually that he's going to invent it anyways. She's also investing in stocks and just hoarding a bunch of money and resources. So now these guys are like, hey, we got to go back and stop her from, from doing that in the first place. So we got to stop time travel from ever being invented because she can't go back in time if it's never invented in the past. I don't know how that affects like timelines and stuff like that because wouldn't she then, because she's right now in the past. She's following him. So couldn't she go and like stop Ryan Reynolds at a different time in his life or something? I don't know. I don't know how the timelines work. Maybe she's gonna have to die as well in the past. They're gonna have to kill her. Stop being a scientist. But I am a scientist. Be a father. Yeah, you dick. You're always more interested in the universe than you were your own son. That's not true. That is true. And when you're older, you'll realize that. Oh, that's interesting. That ship has sailed. It's too late for me. So, you know, whatever. I love that. I'm fine. I love that. The young child hasn't like dealt with the trauma of his father dying. He talked about that before though. This character talked about like how the child hasn't dealt with that trauma. There's a lot of dark years, a lot of resentment for his father, but the child hasn't dealt with that yet. Interesting. And you, what do you need? Therapy. <laughs> I need to go for a walk. Exercise, a poor man's therapy. And I know why you hate him so much. You hate him because he died. You made yourself hate him because it was easier than missing him. Again, underestimating 12 year olds? Maybe. Is a 12 year old having this revelation? He's having like a deep psychological reading of his future self. I don't know that like most adults can do that. He's an empath genius. That's what he is. And I remember some stuff that you maybe don't want to play catch with us almost every night. Yeah, the note kind of was better. Get home from work. More accurate with the ball. Things happen to you, to us, and we suck at dealing with it. I give mom a hard time now, and I think it's easier to be angry than it is to be sad. When I get older, I forget that there's a difference. Oh, shut the fuck up. Either make the kid 16 so he's like more aware of himself and others, or make him a kid and he can just be sarcastic in a kid-like way. Choose. Oh God, <laughs> more Adams. <laughs> I don't know if I should have built that game for him. I mean, shouldn't he just be outside? You built this game? I was thinking like, wow, what a terrible game. <laughs> no, I feel bad. Something's wrong. Yeah, there's no one around. There's no security. There's nobody here. What are you doing? I'm about to get my ass kicked. Wait, when did he learn how to use this? Ryan Reynolds really trusted the kid to nail his technology to kill a bunch of people but not kill him. He put a lot of trust in his past self. I would not put that much trust in my past self. I've made poor decisions. <laughs> they just disintegrate. Oh! Rough? It's the rough! Hey, hey! Hey? It's your mother's car. <laughs> the car? <laughs> I'm gonna destroy your accelerator and I'm gonna enjoy you it. You realize that you have broken every rule. Can you not do stuff as you have these moments? Why do you have to be like, stop? Let everybody just stop and let's have a conversation. Why can't you have a conversation while you do stuff? Visually stimulate me. I just want to I just want to feel some stimulation, please. Can we get those theater speakers again? Can they put the cup down and vibrate my insides? Okay, when I say it like that, it sounds worse. Did it sound bad before? Because you can't do it without me. They're literally at a doorstep of the fucking most secure place ever. There's like, where, where is everyone? There's no security features. There's no security guards. Why is it so empty? It feels hollow. Everything feels hollow. Are we uh, talking about your you penis? Know what? I just heard penis. Do I go back and listen to what they were talking about? Do I want to hear about Mark Ruffalo's penis? I really don't. Hmm. I'm going to continue. Don't take the elevator. Don't take the elevator. Okay. Uh, this is not going to... Okay. Uh, okay. Eh, eh, bad. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Ah, uh, pa, pa, pa. Oh, okay. Why would you put yourself in a box? <laughs> Kill the kid? I'm open for it? Oh, they, 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 I was like, oh, taking the elevator is so stupid, but it worked out perfectly. I gotta hand it to you, Dad. This is where we house the hard drives. Is he the only employee that ever worked here? Where is everyone? Screw it. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> Maya? Long time no see. Give me. The drive. Just no. I thought you were gonna say that. Oh no. Not the kid that's annoying me the whole time. Just listen to her. It's okay. 
It's all right. I love how this is playing out exactly like it's made for seven-year-olds. Where they have guns pointed at people and they're like, give me the drive. And they're acting like they couldn't just take it from his hands. Because they have guns pointed at him. And he'd be forced to give it up. But she's like, no, I had to barter for it. I'm gonna kill the kid. It's not like he's holding it over like, I'm gonna destroy it. He's just holding it casually like, I, no, I have it. It's in my possession and you're not allowed to take it. Finders keepers, okay? Because Adam's gonna give me the drive right now. So if he killed the kid, would future Ryan Reynolds die as well? If I shoot him, you die too. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking it over. What? Then why wouldn't they just shoot him? His dead body would drop the drive. Is it a fragile? I don't, I don't think it's that fragile. Drive the drive, man! Please, just drive! <laughs> Compromise. Have you have you guys seen that one guy who like advises people on how to get out of life and death situations? <laughs> here it is, here it is, here it is. We're gonna share with you some intelligent options to help you survive. Pin here to the column, drive away. <laughs> It'll peel out. It's here in the window, head forward, grab the barrel, redirect. Okay, this is horrible advice. Never take this advice because it's not gonna go well. I feel like little Adam here watched that video. He, he just took that advice and then one bullet, one bullet like destroys your whole facility. Like the whole thing's shutting down now because of one bullet. Don't you think you'd get thicker glass? Maybe bullet resistant glass? Like everything's falling apart from one stray bullet. Also, what did he expect? He winked at the kid. Was that like, hey, dodge a bullet real quick, kid? You know, we practice this bullet dodging thing. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's see it. Badass. See, this would hit so much harder if we had seen the rivalry between them. And this is like the final showdown between them. But they only hinted that they had a rivalry. We never saw it, so we don't feel as invested. But would be dope as hell. Especially because the weapon styles are different. Supper time, Spanky. <laughs> How was she able to hold a gun? Isn't the thing pulling all metal? I don't. You think I'm playing? Ask your son how I play. Ask your son how I play? That sounds. Are you. Are you a predator? Ask your son how I play. The fuck are you talking about? What have you done to my son? <laughs> oh, interesting. If the pull is that strong though, wouldn't it pull the whole gun? The force and momentum of that bullet, I know it doesn't have a lot of mass, but when you consider all the acceleration and all that, why does this have less of a pull? I feel like the, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm an idiot, so I don't know if that makes sense. You never understood the science. I don't, uh, yeah, he might be talking to me. I figured after we eliminated time travel, you two would go back to your fixed times. I don't think we have long. Oh, what a nice home. I like this house. Welcome. come. Dad? I'm sorry that I'm, I'm not going to be there for you down the road. And how lucky am I that I got to see it? No, see, again, it's you. it's one of the, They're walking out the street, they get into the house, and they're like, okay, let's stand here and then have a heart to heart. It never feels organic. It feels very much like, okay, we're going to hit our marks and then deliver the lines. And it just takes you out and it bores you because it's like, you could be doing anything right now. We really gonna do this? Ah, so yeah, okay, yeah. You could have just had the conversation as you were playing, because this was like a big thing. But instead you had the conversation, and now you just have them playing catch and sharing nice, warm emotions silently. You couldn't, you couldn't combine these two things? Like, yeah, oh, they're really going for the silent thing. Oh, and they're still going. Oh, we're still here. And we're still silently trading emotions. Okay, yeah. Oh, he's gonna turn back around, and they're not there anymore. Yep. How, why did that fall off? It's not like they travel naked through time. Everything that they're wearing goes with them. So why wouldn't the glove also? I'll be late for school. Oh my gosh, you're right. Oh, okay, so he's he's forgotten. That's how it works. So they went back to their timeline, but they forgot. Adam. <laughs> She's like, get off me, a jerk. <laughs> All right, they met each other again. There were a couple moments where I was like, oh yeah, it was starting to get really fun with the, like, the banter, but then they would just like slow it down right after. But that's my opinion. Actually, let's let's look at the Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe it's just me. Maybe I have 
higher standards than you dumbass critics. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of post Goonies family oriented schmaltz that plays very well on Netflix. That's kind of what I thought they were aiming at, but it just never, it didn't feel like it hit any one age group perfectly. You know, it's like Disney movies, like they make them for children, but adults can enjoy them too. It felt like this movie wasn't made for anybody with the hope that everybody could enjoy parts of it. All right, that's it for this movie commentary Monday. Don't forget to head to audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. Sign up for Audible. Anyways, all right, love you guys. Ooh.